Hey, this is the gun guy, Joel Persinger. I'm out here in the Grove again in the great big compound and uh, rummaging around among the, uh, the avocado trees and showing you something I just bought. I bought something really cool I wanted to show you and that is this belt. I thought it was the neatest thing. If you've watched this channel at all, you realize I hunt and I hike and I take my dog Charlie and we go places and stuff like that. And I very seldom want to go out in the boonies without a, a firearm of some sort. Sometimes I'll take my rifle, sometimes just a handgun. Depends on where I am. But if I'm going to take a handgun, I like to take a serious one. And this particular one is my Smith & Wesson Model 66 357 Magnum. Got some speed loader path pouches here. I feel like I'm ready to rock and roll. And what's cool is I, I bought this belt really for darn near nothing. I went down to the, the uh, surplus Army Navy store and they had some old uh, speed loader pouches for like a buck and a half which I thought was really cool. I bought this one and I bought this one. I don't think I need this many while hiking but it's kind of cool for a buck and a half and they're leather. You know not too many cops are carrying this stuff anymore and uh, not too many security guards either. Every once in a while you run into a security guard that's carrying a revolver but it's not particularly common. Uh, and I got this holster. This holster was three bucks and the belt if I remember correctly was was like five bucks or six bucks or something so for three bucks for the holster actually now that I think about it it was two dollars and fifty cents for the holster and about five bucks for the belt and a buck and a half each for the speed loaders I got a really nice neat setup for when I go hiking or uh, or I'm out hunting or something and I want to carry a uh, a revolver with me. This particular setup is an old police rig or, or uh, maybe it's an old security guard rig. I don't know but the point is it's very comfortable. I've carried it around a little bit today and shot a little bit today and uh, when we go out in the range here in a minute you can see it uh, work as I start to shoot a little bit. You're going to find these old police rigs are meant to be somewhat comfortable because cops carried them all day long. So if you're looking for used stuff that might work with your, with your old revolver, um, if you got one, Check out the Army Navy store, the surplus store. You'll find some really cool stuff. This holster is great. It covers up the whole gun, which is great if I'm hiking and bash it up against stuff and the gun doesn't get beat up. It's comfortable and it's easy to get to. I can sit down in the bush. It doesn't poke me in the rump. Uh, it's, it's nice and handy. All I got to do is unsnap it. Gun comes right out. Uh, by the way, just for the record, the gun is unloaded, so we're not going to be uh, waving around loaded guns on the video. But the gun comes right out of the holster very easily. It protects the gun and it's a really solid rig. So I'm real pleased with it. Uh, we'll take it out and try it a little bit and mess with some speed loaders with it and so on. And uh, so let's go to the range. Okay, I got to tell you, revolvers are a lot of fun. <laughs> and they're a lot of fun with these kind of belts, too. Go pick one up and have a, gun, a little fun shooting it. If you got a good old revolver like this uh, Model 66 or a Model 10 or an old Colt or a Ruger or something, get out of the range and shoot it a little bit. I don't shoot them that much anymore. And, uh, and discovering today in this video, I need a little bit more practice. But now I've got a rig to do that with, which I'm, I'm very excited about. And it didn't cost me a whole lot of money. So your surplus stores are a great place to check for stuff like this that you can go out on the range and mess around with and play around with and get better with your with your service revolver whatever it is that you've got. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and check out the previous videos. We've got a bunch of them and we've got a lot more coming up. We're going to keep rocking and rolling here on Gun Guy TV. Uh, I would also appreciate it if you wouldn't mind if you joined the National Rifle Association. If you like guns and you want to protect your Second Amendment rights, the NRA needs your help. If you watch for the link, you can click on it and save yourself a little money and count yourself as a new NRA member. Thanks again for watching.